six Batman versus one. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. Oh, there's one fat. And I'm not. Oh, that's actually easy. You could really lie. Actually, wait. No, you can't. The same way a fat don't know a uh, 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 a fit diet is the same way a fit diet doesn't really know a fat diet unless that was fat before. This should be good. A bunch of fit. I love it, chat. Push-up competition. How <laughs> All right, let's just start out with this. All right, fitness history. So my strategy going in. He sounds fat. Will be to use the fitness knowledge that I do know and trying to use that to, you know, um, influence other people and definitely show that I'm knowledgeable, but also not do too much. I don't want to come off too knowledgeable as if I just, you know, study the night before. Um, so basically, I started my fitness history um, in high school. I played football. From there, I've always had some kind of relationship with working out. I am of Nigerian descent, so naturally. Ah, oh, they're going to think he's fit. We are <laughs> leaner. What do you weigh? 230. Yeah. Unit. Right? Damn dog. Yeah. If you're 230 like yoked, you are one big f***ing dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, but you. Nigerian genetics though, but usually they're Yeah, Nigerian usually smaller. Smaller. Really? Uh, they're, they're very lean. They're oh, lean, lean wise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And not tall. smaller, but they have really good like bodies. I seen a Nigerian on my Instagram lifting like f***ing sand uh, bags of cuz I don't know one thing about them, they don't like using real weights. Sometimes they can't afford it, but them really like Put in that work, bro. Oh, like they're tall and athletic That's as hell. Cool. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys know that. Guys, um, Wait, is it gay that I'm watching with a shirt off for 19 minutes, chat? Um, I'm 6'3". I am 3 i am a men's physique competitor. Are you IFBB or is that a different thing? Uh, no, so I've done three different organizations and competed in the NPC. NPC? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. He's an NPC? He's an NPC? He's an NPC. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> yeah. My fitness history, this is Cody, by the way, fellas. Um, I started about two years ago. Uh, because my son was born, I saw myself overweight, looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, I gotta do something about this because I want my son to see me as a superhero. And real, I wasn't that. oh, that's I a real crash dieting. I lost this guy. 50 pounds. I got down to 210, and I have now bulked up to 230. Some big dudes on the <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> holy shit. Growing up, I was kind of a fat kid. They're, they're definitely gonna think this is fat. Here's voice. Oh, my, my dad got diagnosed with diabetes when I was like younger. And then when I was in high school, my mom got diagnosed and I was like, oh dang, I might get diabetes. My diet is so, income. Uh, right now I'm kind really of like get protein. In, uh, party mode, so I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not I've a never heard bulking be called partying. Bro, I do not sound like him. Uh, what are you <laughs> saying? My story is completely different. I'm just going to be completely transparent. I was like trying to be like a big bro kind of guy in college and it was just kind of cringe I was drinking a lot uh, doing a lot of stuff and um, I got humbled really badly by this one girl in college and um, I got friend zone and I was just Damn. she ended up like going for an even bigger douche than I tried to be Ooh. in college and then I realized like damn damn I don't even I'm not even really that person like I'm like imitating something I'm seeing I slayed myself for like my last year of college and just damn. started like lifting weights like crazy. I'd be, I'd be more on the peeled side. I'm not very like bulky, but like I'm uh, pretty cut. That's what I'd say right no, now. I say, so, nigga, you um, look good. Body uh, probably around like six to seven percent, I'd say. I ain't no six percent. You six percent, you gonna look like, you gonna know that six percent. Pretty, that's pretty fair. Damn. Um, yeah, look uh, like how long you been miserable when they six percent. Uh, about two and a half years. I started my last year in college and then up to now. Question for you, do you have a coach? No, so I, I li I'm lifting. Pure, I'm lifting for myself, bro. So you, so it's all self. -care. Yo, wait, why is that oiled up? Everybody look dry. As it's like he lubricated himself. Much, you yeah. you don't compete or anything. Fat without a coach. Six, six, I eight, see six this to guy. eight, six, eight, six, six to eight. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I'm about to say. See, they're oh, even yeah, questioning yeah, him. Six, Obviously, I'm not six percent, <laughs> and for me, it's a very, very big struggle. And for a lot of people, a lot of men, it is. And so when he mentioned that he was six percent, and that's what he is on maintained on a regular basis, Sus. that was a big red flag for me. Sus. Miles was also a red flag for me because one of the first things that he said was he was casually six to eight percent body fat. I find it very hard to believe, especially when he said he only trained for a year or two. I started getting nervous when he asked about body fat percentage because I had a number in my head. When Miles said he was six percent, I immediately was like, no. I'm gonna attack him just like everybody else is. What's up, y'all? My name is Travis. Fat, that's real. This, um, my fitness history started because I just wanted to look like a sick dude. I was just like, oh, oh god. god. Oh, get him out of all here. Right, all right, all right. Get him out of here. He's done. I'm not necessarily saying I look like a sick bro. Oh my god. That was your goal. God. I'm trying my damn like Josh just Giddy. Look like a sicko naked man. He look good as I ain't gonna lie. This look good as and just like be stoked when I'm looking in the mirror, you know?
It's not gay to say a looks good, bro. Uh, are, you, are you like 20? Dude, dude, dude remind yeah, me. He, he, can, he, he, he must be early 20s, bro. He, he must be early yeah. 20s. Man. Classic metaphor, it is better to be a warrior in a garden than it is to be a gardener in a war. That's it, man. You watch too much Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, did the fat guy say that? You said the fat guy say that. Oh. Bro, what does that have to do so, with so My fitness journey started about four months ago. <laughs> Imagine they just all start fighting blindfolded. Uh, I used to be the fat kid in grade school. And then when I got to high school, I lost all this weight to try to fit in. Then at 20, I came out of the closet and I was known as a twin. What the f that got to do with your body fat? So based on society, I had to gain weight. So since then, uh, when I was about 20, 21 years old, I started to just eat everything that I can get my hands on. Hey, yo! Eat everything you got your hands on. Anything later, like Anavar, D ball. I'm trying to keep my my organs healthy and everything. So uh, the only thing I'm looking at is to go on a higher dose of test at some point with Primo. That's I'm on test and it's it's wonderful. Why do you do tests? Yeah, just because I've always been so insecure of being so skinny and I wanted to put on the weight. And bro, you don't need tests though. You just need to stay consistent. Look good, and it's very helpful. It's like I said, it's very hard for me to put on weight. So how has it affected you? Like, what's been the result? You, you mentioned you just kind of started. Not not yeah, to so not, not to come out south. You said that you were chunkier. Wait, is trend and, trend and test are two different things, right? Isn't trend testosterone? You gotta put it up your ass or put it on your. Ass. Well, and then you came out, right? Yeah. So when I was okay. little, when I was like elementary, beginning of middle school, I was chunky. When I got to high school, I realized I'm the fat kid. So then you now yeah. you have trouble gaining weight. I was the opposite. Not because of the test, but if I wasn't on the test, I would. But you were don't. chunky when you were little, right? Yes. I was but now too. you have issues gaining weight. Yeah. Aren't many That's people chunky when they're it's little? Baby I'm sorry. Fat weight. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I you're called baby fat. Let me Your 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 genetics would stay the same. So if if you were Cap. Genetically prone to getting chunky Cap. when you're little. I was literally fat when I was younger. What the f is this dumb saying? It's called when you grow, you have baby fat. Genetically prone to getting chunky when you're old. It's no, not necessarily that's true. Not true. I, that's the way I feel. I was, I was that way when I was when I was younger. I was able to gain a lot of weight if I wasn't watching what I was doing, and it's the same way for me now. The real problem with this story is that you don't need tests just to like, just because you take tests doesn't mean you're gonna look good. So no. right off the bat, well, that, you have that's to work sound, out that's to how, gain it. Right, if you're taking what tests, I'm saying is you're, you're saying, heavier. you didn't even say to gain muscle, you said to gain weight. Like this doesn't, I don't know. Mm. That just doesn't really make sense. I take tests okay. to okay. lift heavier and I do when I look good. Damn, they're getting mad at each other. Wait, what are they raising their hand for? What? Okay. I thought I had a pretty good sense of who was the mole, but um, it was funny because obviously, like, I know what I look like, and I wake up to it every day, and I, I feel great. So. Um, oh, that mad. I ain't gonna lie. That you could tell that mad. He feels tribe. Um, I kind of just more so left it off. When I heard Miles talk about his six percent, how skeptical everybody was, I just jumped on the bad one again. Just really happy that it wasn't me. Hold on. Pause the episode. It's time for your one minute workout. Oh, hell no, bro. You, you do shows, mm -hmm. right? Correct. How long have you been working out again? Uh, uh, going on 12 years. 12 years. How old are you? Damn. 25. 25. Damn. Wow. 13 year old just yacked out. You, you're, you're natural and you're in competition? Yeah. N NPC is natural comp, right? Like, that's the whole no. thing. No, it's, no, not, it's not. No, the, MP the NPC is you can compete against guys who are. Not not natural, but I also compete in the OCB. Don't they rank you though if you are natural by your natural ability or your natural uh, body? Like you gotta tell them if you're on it, right? And they'll rank you by your like they'll have judges that rank on their natural. Uh, some bodybuilder told me that. I don't know how true that is. The IMBA. Are you in men's both. classic physique? No, I'm just men's physique. Okay. So I compete in a natural organization, which I'm drug tested, and I compete against guys who are not drug tested in their organization. What was your last uh, test level? That sounds stupid, bro. What was my last test levels? Yeah, you said you get tested. So what was your, I could tell you my last test levels right now. I, I'm natural. I don't take anything. You, you said you get tested. For I haven't competed. Obviously. In two okay. What's your body fat? I know it's closer than 6% than the other guy. Closer to 6%, you said? Yeah, definitely really? closer to 6% than the other guy. Oh, nah, he coming out his neck. Mm. So when you said closer to 6%, are you saying you're underneath 10? Yeah. And you haven't competed in two years, but Correct. you're staying underneath 10? Correct. That's not that crazy. I'm definitely underneath 10, and I've never competed or anything. Okay. I've, I've done six shows. You I'm, said not, I'm not going to lie. I came into this because I know Jubilee's smart. So I came into this 
going to be suspicious of any bodybuilders <laughs> and any coaches. So your strategy is you're suspicious of. He looked like a military ass. Like he got his shirt off and got cargos on with boots. That definitely was on some sergeant training. Builders, Ju Jubilee's not. They're, they're smart, so they're going to hire somebody that's knowledgeable of the industry. Someone that knows. Oh, like the fat guy. So somebody. So it's so, the, the, the fat guy <laughs> is going to be most likely somebody that knows a decent. Bit. It, had, it was an ex bodybuilder or coach. That yeah. Doesn't want to. Possible. Work, you know, does, just doesn't want to be in that space no more. Yeah. So they they let themselves go. They're overweight. <laughs> I, mean, I am far away from. That. I am, I've only been working out for two years. Oh, so. Can we go down the line and say like how easily you sweat? So I guess it depends on like what I'm doing. I'll say walking on the treadmill for about 10, 15 minutes gets my heart going. And then I'm able to get into some warm up sets. And by that time, I'm sweating a little bit. So it kind of depends, like, what are you talking about, like a drenching sweat or kind of like a warm up? It just up, depends like, on you, like, if you're having a good pump. Am I a sweater? Yeah, do you sweat easily? Do I sweat easily? No, I wouldn't say so. It takes, a while. It takes some time for me to. to Interesting, work brother. I said that because, uh, so kind of contrary to popular belief, just more athletically him? inclined people actually, again, to kind of maintain homeostasis, I need to stop using stupid buzzwords and I'm going to get canceled <laughs> using them incorrectly, probably. But no, you're not the mole. But yeah. <laughs> well, it all depends. But yeah, right? to maintain so. homeostasis, no, more athletically inclined bodies do typically sweat way before uh, like bigger, heavier the bodies. Fat. So my homie Richard on the end said, nah, I'm not a sweater, bro. So I'm a little, a little sussed out. And I mean, yeah. so, so what but it depends do? on what you're doing, too. Bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. You can sweat, like, bro, a fat. Sweat standing. I was asking, but you were like, I'm hitting the treadmill, I'm warming up, and then I'm kind of sweating. Minutes. Walking on the yeah, treadmill for 10, so let's get the times right. Travis, right? <laughs> you brought up the question, Travis? Yeah. Um, I have a question for Richard. Yes, sir. Richard, what are the three main compound lifts? Like the biggest, the big three? Oh. The, whole, the Holy Trinity. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, squats is one. Okay. Good. Um, oh, I would say. Deadlift. Taking too long. <laughs> yeah. Deadlift and bench press. Anything with like your back? Well, let's go sure. to the back. Yo, this can can see! Yo, what the f blindfold can see! I see his eyeballs! Okay, so like lats. Uh, I do lat, pebble, uh, lat pull down mm. is good. Richard's tubby, man. Okay, so. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, I never really got into, like, as far as like following like an exact regimen. Like I said, like, I'm very just straightforward. Like, as, I do as back. As a football player, though. Yeah. 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 As, as a football player, though. Yeah, squats, power cleans, I was doing all that stuff, but I don't do that okay. now. Everyone because... getting into weightlifting knows yeah. the, big, the, the big three, though. Uh -huh. Right. I guess that's, okay. like really that's the fair. first thing you learn. That's fair. He couldn't answer my question. Bro asked me about the Trinity compound lifts. Damn. And I literally draw a blank. Yeah, the Holy Trinity, everyone knows, you know, well, if you're getting into like bodybuilding and weightlifting, everyone knows the three biggest compounds are deadlifts, squats, and bench. bench press. I couldn't think of any other ones. So I knew that for sure was probably. I mean, the way you asked it though was a hard ass Judging question. But cover, it's kind of outdated when you could judge someone by their love print. The fit men will now vote for who they think is the most. Okay. What are they raising though? I don't get it. Uh, I Damn. Feel That's one for sure. And uh, the experience was a. Uh, Damn, the fat got eliminated. Oh, uh, but also fun. But no, he definitely sold with the Holy Trinity. Over. For sure. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand. You can smell a fat though. Fat really smell good, bro. Or if they're at the gym, they really smell bad. But like, you fat most of the time don't really smell bad, bro. Playing the game. Most of the time, at least. Okay, so I would, I would describe myself like, you know, my family genetics blessed me with white shoulders, but it has cursed me with storing more body fat on my lower waist. I would say I have a decent physique. I wanna, it's not the greatest, it's not where I wanna be. Um, I am pretty built. I have some nice shoulders, arms, et cetera. Um, my core, it has slight fluff over it with typically around two to four abs showing. I, ha I do have bottom stomach chunk, but that's typical between 10 to 15%. Uh, completely shredded. I believe if I'm not wrong, I'm the only one on the stage that's on testosterone. So uh, completely shredded. You have a horrible memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I am uncomfortable with and probably my biggest insecurity are my legs because they're the toughest for me to thicken out. Um, I'm pretty lengthy. I'm tall. My limbs are extremely long. I have striations from my shoulders to my chest to my triceps, um, vascularity from forearms all the way up to pecs. <sighs> How so I hot. my physique? Uh, Peeled to the f bone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, 
I'm probably like a David Lane, if you guys know that guy, like Gymshark athlete. I have pretty defined abs. I'm probably sitting at like... Bro, it's not gay watching this, bro. It's motivational, bro. I want to get like... I want to get like that black... That black built so good, No one's asking bro. like my... He got a daddy build. Or body fat or anything. You're pretty believable. Uh, yeah, you, you're definitely... <laughs> you, you definitely got Or you're just very... I just got a shit. crazy round build, but I'm obsessed with fitness and... Fl but no, <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, I'm probably like 7%, 7 percent seven and a half, eight, eight percent 8%. Um, stay like yeah, that yeah, year yeah. round. I, I guess I'm the fat one here, huh? <laughs> I'm, Holy I'm, I'm that's a, for us. Dude, that's a good point. I was saying this whole thing is kind of bringing about a, a general question of how do we define fat versus fit. Also, yeah, you know, that's, like, like, that's a great. That's a great, that's a great, great point. Like I was, I, I would consider myself prior to starting my journey two years ago. That's a good body though. Fat. I didn't look too horrible in shirts. I definitely had a rounded out face. I definitely had a lot of gut, no visible abs, no nothing. I don't think necessarily abs just define fit. Mm -hmm. um, I would more so say like the size of your arms, like the, the look of your arms, your chest and shoulders really is what I would look I, at. I, I agree. I think abs is not define fitness at all. Like the fit look. Agreed. I believe like if you're wearing clothing, you eat? you feel in your clothing very Yeah, you, I don't know if you saw me, but I was trying like, uh, uh. Uh, trying to get a word in, but I'm drowned out by all the noise because everyone's like, they, they, they were just going like yapping and going at each other, and I'm like, can I get a word in, guys? <laughs> Do we want to objectively define what we think fatness is here, like numbers-wise? Like I said, I'm 14, 15 percent. I wish, I wish I was like 12 at least, but eh, it is what it is. All right, I think we have our answer. Which is what? Well, when we vote, well. Oh. I don't get it. Oh, they put a number up. Okay. What Damn. did I say? What he is 15%. To go wrong. Did they just vote me out just so they could vote someone out because everyone was like, yeah, we messed up. We continued the game and we were not supposed to. So I strictly voted for Denzel and I don't feel like round three was super productive either. Um, I voted Denzel out because he made a noise right after we continued the game like he wasn't wanting to continue. So that's why I voted him. All right, we're going to continue. When I got voted out, when I heard my name, I was like, it do be like that. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. One, two, three. You guys voted the mole hey, out. Yes. 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 Can we job, up guys? Now? I'm trying to dance. Good shit, fellas. Good shit. I can't see you, but I'm going to just put it with you. <laughs> Are you guys smacking Whoa, this guy's yoked. <laughs> Jesus I'm, I'm out of Yo. the loop over here. What up, gang? What up, what up? What up, gang? Up, dog. <laughs> so, on the count of three, please take your blindfolds off. Yeah. See, I don't know why. This video got me, like, got me cheesing, bro. Like, shirtless is really, like, put a smile on my face, bro. Like, it's like, it's like dinner time, you know? It's really like Thanksgiving dinner, you know? Two, three. Yeah. Get out. All right. Get so out. I did my best to, uh, you know, try and uh, weasel my way in here. My but um, to be honest, I do have a fitness background. So in 2018, I. First of all, let me start off, I've been a big kid my whole life. Uh, my heaviest weight was 450 pounds when I was, how old was I, uh, 28 years old. Started my weight loss journey because uh, someone close to me told me, you know, with tears in my eyes that I was gonna die. And uh, it hurt really bad. So I started uh, literally just working out from my, I was too ashamed to go to the gym. That is literally actually, the dumbbell, went to town I would hate it telling months. me that. 2020 hit, super depressed because of the pandemic, gained some weight back, started keto. Dropped all the way down from, I think I was like 360 to the time, to 273 in 2021. It was not me, bro. Um, Wait, what if it was him? What if I ran into him on Omega and I was like, damn, fat <laughs> finna die soon. So, cannot lose weight anymore uh, at all. Sucked. Mentally, just it literally like, f***ed my brain up. So, I just started going back. And this is me now trying to find my way back to my lowest weight, which was 273. You gotta, you gotta do the carb cycling to keep the... It in your body and then flush it out. You know. I think the hardest push. part is you, eating food. Pushing, I don't want to eat no more, bro. The My mouth hurts. To lose weight, to gain muscle, to be in that mindset, it's it's very very difficult. You have your ups and you have your downs, and the only way you lose is by giving it up. 
and that that's that's the biggest thing. And he he's he's gone a lot of places, and he can keep going further as long as he keeps his head in the game. Just take your time, enjoy your journey, and just be proud of the progress that you've made, because the progress that Richard has made losing over 200 pounds, that's more impressive than what I've done as a competitor. Fitness is obviously something that's important, but it comes in all different shapes and sizes. Looking at those guys was definitely like a reminder to myself, like, hey, like you could also be in the best shape of your Holy life. Holy he got a fat ass patch under his neck. I got the same Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The way I'm locked in now, bro, I can't see myself going back to what I was. Been ten, fat shit up on my wrist, been him, could have been anything I wanna get, nigga.